June was the month of the goddess, was the month, and she's the goddess of pride. It's the pride month from ancient times. The goddess of pride, and she's the goddess of altering sexuality. But let's start right away. I want to get right into it with Jonathan Kahn, the Messianic rabbi, when he wrote his first book, which was discerning the times we're in and the possibilities of what could come if the church doesn't really come into agreement with God's plan. It became an international bestseller and even made, get this, the New York Times bestseller list, which is so rare and weird that it made it. No book in this genre was, was so offensive to many of the same people who would be on that list has ever done just that made the list. Then he released another book called The Return of the Gods, and it's all about the enemy's ancient strategy that's played out throughout history, and it's culminating right now, and I think it's absolutely fascinating and stunning, and it's had an incredible reception that mainstream media outlets have been interviewing Khan all over the place on it, but even a Mormon talk show, not really a Mormon talk show, but Glenn Beck, who's a Mormon, decided to interview him on the ancient gods and the strategy of the enemy right now and it about broke his internet. It, it about broke his whole platform. He had so many views on this. It's one of the highest viewed things on the mainstream media, social journalistic content of Glenn Beck. You have Jonathan Kahn in the middle of it, which I'm gonna get Jonathan on this show. I know he's a friend of mine, so I'll get him on, but I wanted you to watch him on Glenn Beck. Let's watch this clip of Jonathan Kahn. Next one is 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 Ashtora, number which is the goddess in Greece. She's called Aphrodite. Is she sexualized? The, the spirit sexualizes the culture. When in ancient Greece she was worshipped as the great prostitute, and the word in Greece for prostitute is porn. There used to be parades and they disappeared with the gospel coming in. June was the month of the goddess was the month and she's the goddess of pride. It's the pride month from ancient times. The goddess of pride and she's the goddess of altering sexuality. In the ancient writing she's called it says Manzat Ishtar which means translation rainbow Ishtar. It says that her eyes were rainbow eyes. It's she uses the rainbow to wage war. She uses the rainbow actually to exist exact vengeance. There's a very dark thing behind the rainbow. The rainbow belongs to God. I mean, that's the first thing, mm -hmm. you know, but one of the things about this principality, it says she steals things from other gods and makes it her own. Mm -hmm. She literally has taken this. This is just one of the strategies he lays out. And he kind of refers to where we're at right now, that there's ancient demonic strategies going on. Now, this really comes in light of Glenn Beck's own personal journey, where he's been sharing on his platform, a dream that he believes is from God, where he saw an, an evil in the White House through this dream and an evil that's trying to corrupt specifically America. And then he's having Christians, Christians, this is a Messianic Jew, Jonathan Kahn, who's a well-known Christian figure, share about these kinds of things. Maybe this is the direct interpretation of what Glenn Beck was seeing. Maybe God gave him a dream. Is not God the one who gives dreams, no matter what religion or background you are? And I so appreciate Glenn Beck and the platform he's taking for conservative values and to expose hidden agendas in our culture right now. But then you have Jonathan Kahn sharing this. And Jonathan, one thing I love about him, and I've been around him quite a few times, now, I've, I've even interviewed him for Daystar and other, other channels, is that he's always hopeful. So he lays out like this whole thing that he just shared. But then he goes to a place of, but God, the gospel is increasing and advancing. We're, we have Jesus inside of us. So I really love that Jonathan doesn't leave us with the strategies of the enemy, but he dismantles them by understanding all the way into ancient times how and nothing we're dealing with today is new. Like when you hear about that, the pride, this is the goddess of pride and the rainbows coming out of her eyes was her symbols. And then you find out what are we dealing with right now? In the month of June, we're dealing with a spirit of pride and we're dealing with a spirit that sexualizes and perverts. That's name is where pornography came from. And this is so relevant to right now. And if we understand that, we can come above it because we're called to keep our mind and our affections and our hearts and everything we're doing above it. And that's one of the reasons why we at Bulls Ministries are taking you on a journey. I wanna just tell you our school is sponsoring a class right now for this episode. It's called Words of Knowledge. And if you've never understood Words of Knowledge, it's understanding how to have the perceptions and the thoughts of God about your everyday life. It's actually getting revelation on what to do with the now. It's getting God's thoughts and discernment about your current circumstances, your past circumstances, and others' current circumstances and past circumstances as well. And if you want discernment that Jonathan Kahn is bringing us and you want to know what to do about that discernment, you need words of knowledge. And this is a biblical gift that helps you to have the perceptions for what's happening in the now. And I'm teaching this class. It's a live online class. You could join us whether you're part of the academy or not. You could join us just for the class. There's a few pre-recorded segments, one each week, but then there's a live segment where we're going to do impartation, prayer, Q&A, 
all of these things, all the things, all the things. So come, let me answer your questions. Let me pray for you. Let's get activated right now because we need words of knowledge and we're going to overcome the strategies of the enemy and really come into what God's called us to. Go to bowlsministries.com. You can click on the banner or you can navigate just the Academy tab and you're going to find this. But you don't want to miss this opportunity to actually do something with what you're discerning and get words from God about how to live a thriving life. So to me, what's the most interesting thing about Rabbi Khan is that he introduces us to this ancient evil that's so arrogant, that's still fighting against what Jesus already won on the cross, but he lays out the strategy with such an intrigue of the supernatural suspense that it's like a thriller. It's like reading a, a novel almost, but it's true. The difference is that this is true in the world. The, the, the mainstream world wants to hear more about it. He hasn't just been on Glenn Beck, but he's been on a number of talk shows, a number of talk radio shows. And these aren't like the supernatural alien shows. These are like mainstream shows. And they're listening to this messianic rabbi. Jonathan didn't leave Glenn and his audience without hope, though, but he tied it back to what God can do if we believe. And I'm going to encourage you to watch their interview and tell me what you think about their interview. Tell me what you think about Jonathan Kahn right now. And if you read the book, if it impacted you, if you haven't read the book, why you haven't read it? Like, what, is it a book you would read or is it something you're not interested in? I promise you, if you read the book, even if you don't agree with it, it's going to create some thoughts and some questions inside of you that only God can answer. And we need to ask huge questions right now because we need big answers in society from God right now. And so we want people who have that spiritual intelligence that help us to ask those spiritual questions that give us insight that we wouldn't get if we go after looking at this world in a very natural way. And that's exactly what I think Jonathan Kahn did and accomplished on the Glenn Beck show. And I'm so happy and I'm so glad he did it. And I think that it's gonna change a lot of people's perspective. Thanks for watching one of our favorite things to do as a ministry and one of my favorite things to do personally is to resource you back as you're watching this. I want to see your spiritual growth take a whole new level of maturity. And one of the ways we do that is through our Spiritual Growth Academy online. You can visit us at bullsministries.com. Click on Academy. And it's not just for people who want a higher education, like in the sense of Bible school. This is for everyday believers to go through bite-sized pieces of spiritual subjects like your leadership, discipling you in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, hearing God's voice and understanding how to apply it to your very real life, dream interpretation, deliverance, inner healing. And we have incredible speakers who are going to bring these subjects to you that are experts in their field. Some of them you will know, some of them you may not know, but we completely trust them. And you're going to have, if you can do the live classes and not just the pre-recorded past classes that you have the whole access to from the library. If you do the live classes, you're going to be able to ask your questions. You're going to be able to get prayer. You're going to be able to give feedback. And it's going to be so powerful for you to be a part of the community of what we're growing through Spiritual Growth Academy. So I didn't want you to miss the opportunity to hear that we have a Spiritual Growth Academy with four-week classes every month and also an event every month. And it's one low subscription price. All you have to do is go to bullsministries.com and click on Academy or one of the banners of one of the classes and join us there. Can't wait to see you.